anyway, what are you doing for Christmas? Mm, the usual, you know, putting up decorations, going to reunions, looking at myself in the mirror because I'm going to get so fat from the reunions. Do you know what you're asking Santa this year? I haven't made my list yet. Psh, right. What is that supposed to mean? I mean a flying man in a sleigh breaking into your house and giving you free gifts in this economy. Yeah? Wait, you actually believe in him? Why would I not if he keeps giving me stuff every year? You know that's just your parents, right? No. Yes? Okay, let me guess. You live with your parents. No. Oh. Well, okay, well, who do you give your letter to Santa to? My mom, duh! Everyone knows Santa only accepts letters if they come from your parents. Or she takes your list to Target and shops for them herself. Then explain how it ends up in my house. <coughs> yes, mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's one in my kitchen. Yeah, you can get the key under the mat as usual. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. What? I rest my case. Why? Because you know you're wrong? I am not wrong, okay? I can give you a bajillion reasons why he doesn't exist. Hit me. Well, first of all, he can't fly in a sleigh that high, okay? The winds are too strong and the oxygen too thin, he's gonna die. Yeah, but maybe he doesn't have to fly that high. How does he even fly in the first place? Last time I checked, reindeer are good for... Oh wait, nothing. They're magical. What makes them magical? The magic of Christmas in all of our hearts. Good lord. And if Rudolph has an abnormal glowing cyst on his nose, he might want to see a doctor. His nose is like a headlight. Which makes no sense because everywhere is lit already, okay? But how would he land on kids' houses? How does he even have the time? Okay, you know what? Let's do the math, okay? There are 7 billion people in the world and about 25% of them are younger than 16. So if you divide that with the amount of time that Santa has in a day to actually go to all the children in the entire world, that gives him about a thousandth of a second per child and that doesn't take into account the time that he has to go from the North Pole all the way to New Zealand and transfer countries on his way west. He only visits Christian children. So Santa is religionist, is that it? He discriminates? No, but he only visits people who believe in him. You know, even subtracting those people, it would still give him less than a second per house. And he has to like, bring out the gifts, put them in the stocking, eat the milk and cookies. And by the way, he's gonna get diabetes with the amount of milk and cookies he eats. Come on, he's Santa, he can do anything. That's another thing though, does he have a passport? Does he need a visa? Because last time I checked, the North Pole as a country doesn't and also, I don't think countries want basically a guy smuggling in toys for children every single year. No, but he doesn't mean any harm. Smuggling is still breaking the law, okay? He has to pay taxes, and also he sees you when you're sleeping, and he knows when you're awake. Yeah, how else is he gonna know if you've been good or not? He spies on children every day of the year, you know who else does that? People who own white vans. What are you implying? That you're naive. Or maybe you're just cynical. <laughs> I'll get it. See? It's from Santa! What? Your mom is literally outside. You owe me an apology. She is literally running away from this building. I still don't hear any apology. Oh god. I'm dreaming of white Christmas just like the 